What's going on, everybody? I came across these videos on Twitter today and thought it would be a really good job to take this opportunity and break down Jackson Holiday's swing. Shout out to Josh Norris with Baseball America. These videos are some slow mo takes, side angle swings of his, and gives us a good idea of what we'd be looking at and what I believe is the top prospect in baseball. So, that first swing, obviously, a high fastball does a really good job of staying on top of it. This one, you'll see the catcher's setup is a little bit different. They're going to attack him in a different way. He had a ton of knocks in this game, so they're they're searching on the other side of the ball. Does a really good job of getting down and getting to that. So some of the things that stand out to me about Holiday and his swing... We talk about the pitchers in the game today and their ability to attack the top of the zone. Not only does he engage that backside and do a really good job of using it to generate power and increase his exit velocities, but he does such a good job of being flat off a shoulder plane. You see right there, the bat does not dump, the barrel doesn't dump, it just comes right off of his shoulder plane to stay on top of that heater and be able to elevate it with backspin. You see the early connection here. It's connected to his body. It's connected at impact. It stays on plane and it's in the hitting zone for a long time. And on this one, it's a completely different pitch. I think potentially even an off-speed pitch, but he does such a good job. The swing looks exactly the same and all he does is bend a little bit more to match plane with that. You can see a significant difference between the ability to stay tall on this one where he's able to match plane with that and elevate that ball. And he bends a little bit more side bend on that to be able to get that ball in the air and not just beat it into the ground right at the second baseman like that pitcher obviously wants him to do. So one of the ways we can tell how much side bend he does have is from the center field camera, but we don't obviously have the luxury of that currently. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the letters across his jersey and we're gonna pull it straight to the ground. That's a good way to kind of get a good idea of exactly what the angle is. You can see that's about a 56 degree, and obviously this is not exact, but the bats are at a similar point in the swing. And then we're gonna take this one, we're gonna run it to the ground, and you can see that's at about a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna make sure that this one's straight so we're looking at about a 10 degree difference in his side bend in comparison to the high fastball and the mid thigh pitch that he's able to stay on plane for so you'll notice that that gives him a good opportunity to match plane with everything and it allows him to be consistent in his swing so let's say a pitcher wants to go down in the zone he's facing a sinker ball or with a heavy bowling ball he's able to get down bend and make sure he gets that ball off the ground and doesn't beat it right into the shortstop's glove and then on this one he's facing a guy with hop he's able to stay on plane backspin in the air and do a lot of damage a lot of the good hitters that we see in the game today are making a conscious effort to stay flat off barrel off shoulder plane make sure their barrels on plane with that high fastball and gives them the most opportunity to succeed this swing he's in the zone for a long time he's going to be able to be adjustable to off-speed pitches there's a reason he's absolutely mashed at every level since he's been drafted and he's going to continue to do that at every level until he makes his debut